Hi, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to apply for a Thailand pass. I will attach the link into the description about getting to this website tp.counselor.go.th or you can search on Google for Thailand pass and then you can get the very easily link from the disk from the below here okay so let's get started make sure which is one is suitable for you definitely if you are non Thai then you need to select non Thai and then they will ask you the language currently they are available in English language so you need to select your language and then hit okay let's get started Thailand is the warm welcome country so now they introduce their three packages which one is right for you we're gonna discuss first and then we proceed to the application Thailand give you the first one package our plan is exempt from quarantine test and go you need to reach on Thailand Airport any port and then you need to test for COVID after negative result you can go everywhere in the Thailand after 24 hours they give the list of eligible country for test and go so you can find if you are one of from this country you can test and go in case if you cannot find your country name from this list then you are eligible for sandbox what is sandbox sandbox means you need to stay at sandbox for seven days and you can go after 24 hours anywhere in the same province and need to return back to the same hotel if sandbox is for you if you are fully vaccinated before traveling 14 days as i said thailand is very friendly and they have very eco-friendly plan for the tourists they also introduce in case if you are not vaccinated then you can select alternative quarantine travel from any country if you are not vaccinated you need to 10 days fully quarantine like you cannot go out unless you complete the 10 days before starting this application I want to let you know you need to prepare some of the document document are same for all category except the alternative quarantine first one as a, my country is Pakistan is not in the list I gonna select sandbox program the document I required passport Thai visa if you are traveling from country and you your country are eligible for visa on arrival then you no need to worry certificate of vaccination definitely if you selecting sandbox or if you selecting test and go you need to be fully vaccinated so passport scan copy and save into jpj jpeg or png number two thai visa again the same over here the requirement as well same requirement second same requirement for the alternative quarantine but you no need certificate if you definitely if you not get a vaccination you you no need certificate of vaccination for alternative quarantine or 10 days quarantine then the fourth one is paid aq or sha plus hotel reservation same requirement for send back and same requirement for aq not sha plus but aq for the alternative quarantine after this you need to upload insurance with minimum coverage of fifty thousand USA. 
same policy for test and go, same policy for sandbox, and same policy for alternative. Okay, as you know, which category is for you? After knowing briefly, you need to select. As I said, I'm from Pakistan. Same procedure for test and go, same procedure for sandbox, and same procedure for alternative quarantine. So I'm gonna select the middle one, second one plan because I'm from Pakistan for sandbox. After selecting the sandbox, they will give you some term and condition or compliances with disease prevention measure of the government of Thailand. Some of the term to stay in Thailand during your trip to the Thailand. I already read it. You can read by yourself as well. Without wasting time, I'm gonna click I hereby and I acknowledge. As I said, I already read, so I no need to read again. After confirm, it will drag you to the new page. The new page will ask you purpose of traveling. As I'm traveling for tourism, I'm gonna select purpose of travel or arrival is travel. And then you need to select departure country. I'm departing from Pakistan. I'm gonna select Pakistan. You can select your own country. First arrival port in Thailand. My first arrival port is Bangkok. So I'm gonna select from here Bangkok. So I'm a Bumi Airport. Make sure this three plan only for air travel okay maybe alternative is for the uh, our land travel date of arrival I gonna arrival to the Thailand on the 18th of November you need to select date of arrival after this you need to mention length of stay I will stay for 10 days I gonna type 10 in digits Visiting type if you are traveling with tour group you can select yes or if you are alone like me you can select no First time visit if this trip is your first time to Thailand if yes, then select yes Otherwise no mine is second time and After filling the detail make sure you filling accurate detail otherwise you are Thailand pass will be rejected by Thailand click on registration after clicking on registration you will find confirm as I already read so you can read if you want I gonna save the time and click confirm and then they will drag you to these four basic and main steps which are very compulsory and very important okay let's get start filling the application in the fourth step I'm again gonna be aware to full fill the false data but in this video I'm gonna show you how to apply for Thailand pass I gonna put some dummy value okay so in the personal information First is title. You can select your title. I'm gonna select for mine is Mr. Given name, your first name, and then your family name. If you have any middle name, you can add your middle name over here. After completing your full name, you need to select your nationality. Mine is Pakistan, you can select your own after selecting you need to select date of birth mine is 2000 first of january first i gonna select first january here you can type any dummy any your email address over here i gonna type the real one you need to type your real one over here this is my dummy email to show you make sure your email is 100% correct why because 
they will send you the link of QR and QR onto your email address the one you provided after filling this application you are gonna receive confirmation email by Thailand pass to make sure that they receive your application so you need to keep double check your email address and type again in the confirm section I recommend you to use Gmail rather than Hotmail or Outlook because sometimes it can be delay after this you need to mention your occupation I am a freelancer I gonna mention freelancer whatever your job or whatever your title of job you can enlist over here or you can mention your definition and now the other main important part is your passport detail which type of passport you hold ordinary official diplomatic or so on I hold ordinary passport so I gonna select ordinary passport and then you need to type your passport number this one is dummy number after this you need to attach passport first copy first page where you can see your passport detail and your image so you need to upload you can see this one sample you need to upload from browse make sure this need to be in jpg or jpeg or png and maximum size allowed is only 5 mb browse and upload so i gonna upload my passport detail okay if any under 18 children traveling along you you can add their detail as well after uploading you can see over here blue tick that mean your file is uploaded successfully then you need to click on next okay after filling personal information they will drag you to the vaccination information step 2 as I selected sandbox or if you selecting for test and go they will ask your vaccination detail but for ASQ or alternative quarantine they will not ask this one section let's get started before start make sure if you get infection within one year you can check over here otherwise leave it vaccination dose one name of the covid 19 vaccination you got i got moderna i select moderna and first dose i got first dose on the June of first I gonna select it and then you need to upload your certificate of vaccination if you get first dose and then second and then now get your together certificate you can upload that one as well or if you have separate separate you can upload that one I gonna upload my COVID vaccine certificate as I said it will keep rotating after it show blue tick it mean your document has been uploaded and now you need to further go down make sure if your certificate have the QR code that would be so easy to get Thailand pass so you can upload QR code over here or if your certificate shows some QR code you can select again your certificate or QR code make sure you can take snap of this area only the QR code area as you can see now tick is below it mean my file successfully uploaded now come to the vaccination dose too again I got Moderna and I got on the June 28 you need to upload again your certificate 
and then wait for the blue tick then move to the next step okay successfully uploaded again QR code you need to apply upload or if you are QR code on the certificate select the same one again okay after fulfilling you need to click here by consent that you read carefully and you providing correct and click on the checkbox so check checkbox will be blue and then you need to click on next okay after step one personal information step two vaccination now it will drag you to contact and accommodation as I said you need to book for SHA plus or AQ if you select sandbox or for test and go for alternative quarantine you can select AQ so I'm eligible for sandbox so I gonna select SHA plus the booking I done from the booking link they provided I will also add into the description so you can book your hotel easily after this you need to mention your booking ID then a commendation name my one is IBS Bangkok you need to mention the address my one is Sukumat Sukum with 8th Street I am traveling to Bangkok so my province is Bangkok duration of stay from so I am traveling from 18th of November I gonna select 18 and till 28th then you need to give your flight number I am traveling from Emirates so I gonna select Emirates EK628 after this you need to upload your accommodation proof as I said you need to pay full or at least pay 15,000 Thai baht to get Thailand pass easily so you need to upload file from here don't worry if you got your booking into the PDF I will give the link to convert from PNG to P oh sorry from PDF to PNG select your hotel booking and then wait for blue tick as I said don't move unless you see this blue tick after this you need to provide your residential address in your hometown I'm living in Multan Pakistan I gonna select Multan Pakistan and then your overseas number this number is dummy to show you how to fill Thailand pass application again emergency number you need to provide your friend number father number guardian or any of one who is very close to you and available in case in the emergency and their mobile number with country code after filling the application you need to click on next After filling personal information, vaccination, contact and accommodation, it will drag you to the insurance, the last one and fourth step. You need to provide insurance policy number. Make sure your medical insurance or COVID insurance or health insurance can cover coverage of 50,000 USA. If yes, then select yes otherwise like no the insurance period cover the total duration of stay in Thailand if yes then select yes otherwise no effective date or the policy start date mine will start from 18th of November I gonna select 18th of November over here you can you have to upload your policy proof again if you got policy in PDF you can convert into PNG under the given address link okay so insurance policy certificates I upload 
in the PNG you can upload in JPJ or JPEG and then if you visit it 14 within 14 days other country you can add those country or if you traveling just from Pakistan keep remain it or any country your homeland and after this when you click the submit button your application will send to Thai embassy or Thai consular as I said this whole purpose of the video is to show how to apply so I'm not gonna submit to make little trouble for the Thai consular because day and night they working for us to make our trip very good if you like my video you can subscribe to my channel or if you want more detail about this you can subscribe my channel as well other more important link I will mention into the description.